All right, back in studio here, and as Rockus just rightly said, it is time for DIY on now. Remember, safety is first, so ensure that you protect your hands, protect your eyes as well, and, uh, you know, have some fun. And that is what it is all about. What so, are we making today, Kerry? So one of the challenges that some people are finding now as, you know, they have to work from home, their mm -hmm. children are doing school at home, is storage. Right. So we are creating a shelf today, a storage shelf. Nice. That for, for mul multiple purposes. You could put books on it. Okay. Uh, you know, because sometimes you may not have all the space on the surface, so you could go upward. There we go. So we're actually going to do three shelves. Oh, here. three layered shelves. Three layered shelves. Nice. Right? There we go. So you're using your real estate up. Nice. All right. So. Like apartments. Yeah. So I have uh, done what you call uh, counter sink holes. That's mm -hmm. so these screw heads could go in. Right. Then you could cover that over with putty and stuff. So when you sand it and so stuff. So we had some pre planning happening. Smooth. Here. Yeah. That's right. right. I noticed the mess already. And of course, you're going to do some of my favorite things like drill pilot holes. Then we'll drive in some screws. So today, you're going to need uh, seven pieces of lumber. All right. And <laughs> those pieces are all two feet. So these are. These here that you're seeing, these are two by four pieces. These are dressed already. Wait, this is literally already. a two by four? Yeah. Everybody who ever wondered what two by four does look like, <laughs> this is what two by four does look like. Right, go ahead. All right, uh, and we also have some two by six pieces. All right, and these are also cut to two feet in length. So uh, those are all the pieces you need. And then you're going to need some heavy screws today. So you're going to use some three inch screws. All right, all right. these are fine thread three inch screws and that's what you're going to use so as i said before i did some countersink holes so my screw heads could go down later on i could always fill it with putty and, and all that but for now we are going to line up everything and mm -hmm. then we're going to drill some pilot so holes. How we line it up? Show me. all right so these are the legs these two by fours are actually the legs legs right right so what we are going to do is actually um, let's see let me make some space here a little bit tricky this morning nah man you go through all you right need space for your shelf you need space for your shelf. That's or you need space for your wood. Well, to put the wood all over the tip. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That. That. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, I, so I have some clamps right. here as well. And I, I did some measurements. All right. Make sure you're working on so the, the right the side. So the place where you put the counter holes, I noticed that you, you flip it upside down. Yes, that's so right. So the counter holes are at the bottom. Uh, at the, actually, I put counter holes at the bottom, the top, and the center. And you'll no, see No, but one. I mean in terms of the way you put, compared to where you put in this, this wood here, it's right. below. Yeah, it's on the base. So you're going to drill from below and come up? No, I'm going to actually clamp these together. Oh. So then I could have everything measured and um, balanced so that I can then drill all my counter, my, my pilot holes, followed by the screws, which, um, you know, the handyman here, Rockus, will help me out with. I got the drill. I got the drill. All right, so you I just want to line up all your shelves first and foremost. Okay, so you line up. You had marked. Is there a specific size marker that you're using? Marker? Yeah. No, so I, just use, I just use a pen. I just okay. use a regular pen. But what's the all distance, right? I mean? Oh, right. Thank you. So um, on each side, uh, this, the thickness of these pieces is actually 1.75 inches. So I marked 1.75 from the top and from the bottom. Uh, then I got my center line here. I do want a little more space... Um, on the bottom shelf, between the bottom and middle shelves, as compared to the uh, top, middle and top. So I'm actually going to go above, above the that line. line. All right. All right. And once we get that in place, we could then put the other legs on the flip side, clamp everything together. I now catch. Drill. So this is the bottom shelf and this is the middle shelf here? Yeah. Okay. I now see, I now see what we're doing here. All right. So the mats adding up, right? The mats adding up. The mats <laughs> mats in. The mats now start to mats and make sense. All, All right. right. So what we're doing here is we just lining everything up now we're gonna put these legs now now you notice these sides are going right side up where you could actually access the holes and from there we're gonna clamp everything down drill our pilot holes but this gets tricky no we're gonna clamp it we're gonna clamp it first all right, right so this should while, be interesting while i'm on this now side it's to look like a pallet what's that it's to look like a pallet now <laughs> I think these clamps are probably the handiest thing that I've ever. Oh yeah, had most the definitely. To do these this. these things are these things make life so easy, All right? And they're basically going to hold they're going to hold the pieces of wood together in place so that we can drill safely. Yes. Yes, that's right. And okay. uh, what you want to do now is now we can make all the adjustments because you can actually put line it, it up exactly perfectly. where you want it to be. So you want to do it on the bottom and on the top, and then it goes really fast once you get everything aligned. Yeah. You know what they say, you want to measure twice and cut once. And cut once and then force it to fit. What? 
Measure twice, cut once, and force it to fit anyway. Because for some reason, Lumber does not like to cooperate. That's not wait. You're trying to tell me you have a problem when you the wood do work in your favor all the time. <laughs> That's what's going on. Yeah, because yes. sometimes it's warped, sometimes it's not straight, sometimes it's a little thicker in some places than it is in others. And I never is... had all the misuse before. Well, I mean, I don't really work with, I don't do wood work, so maybe that's why I never <laughs> that had That's probably issue. why you don't have the issue. Yeah, but whoa, I didn't realize there's so much stress when they do it. Yeah, that. yeah. All right, so here's what. Because I know the bottom is nice and aligned, what I'm going to do is clamp this Tight frame up. here. All I'm right. going to flip this because the bottom is well aligned. That's, you just so give this me a side is the bottom? Of course, just no way. That's all right, that's okay. no problem. Once we get to that side. Oh, okay, so we just, oh, we're flipping all the way. Yeah, we're flipping all, right. all the way so that we can access these here that are well aligned. Right. Then we can fix the others afterward, all right? So let's drill some pilot holes. All right, pilot holes. You're the pilot hole man. All right, so you're gonna repeat this process for all the countersink holes that you drill. And then Rockus is gonna follow me here. It'll be three inch screws. I got the screws, I got the screws, I got the screws, screws, screws. Just um, I am probably the worst person to drill. Are you guys seeing my horrible drilling skills? Alright, so you just need to yeah, apply enough force downward so it catches the teeth. Right? And it's spinning, it's continue. spinning. Continue. Continue? Right, so what you're going right. to do on this side, what you need to do, just a, a little tip here, when you drive downward, you need to apply enough force downward so that it doesn't spin in the teeth, in the uh, groove yeah. here, so it drives all the way down. Well, way to show off, Kari, good job. Well, I have a little experience in this, so it's not a fair comparison there, Rockers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll just drive this one all the way in as well. You see, that piece of wood hard, hard, hard. That is what's going on. That is a hard wood we're dealing with over there. <laughs> this one is not regular wood. You come with this tick, tick, tick piece of thing here and you want people with the Jolene screws just so, just so. <laughs> I don't understand. All right. So that's the two. Do that's we need to do two, two on the other side as well? Sorry? Do we need to do two on the other side? Yes, but what we'll do since we're working on this side, we'll right. just align the center. Okay. So we'll finish all on this one side. Okay. Um, after which we can do the rest on Go ahead. the next side, right? So we just need to align... Again, you have those lines that you would have drawn in the center. Mm -hmm. You want to just ensure everything is well aligned so that you're not crying afterward. But you're still forcing it to fit. Yeah, you're still forcing it to fit because it does not like to cooperate. It doesn't really sound pleasurable, but we're good. It's work, it's not play. Carrie, how long mm -hmm. does it take you to actually build one of these things if you, if you say, all right, I'm going to work on a shelf today? Um, something like this, 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 um, this size is not too big, so this will take me maybe about an hour and a half. We can talk, we can talk. Hour and a half, I'd say. <laughs> we don't have an hour and a half, so we can talk, we can talk. <laughs> All right, so as I continue here. Right, so we're lining it up. We're lining it up, we're trying to line it up nice. Can we take out these clamps now that we already screwed that in? Um, you see, no, it, the it, bottom it, part, yeah, the bottom in. part right. isn't in so look, properly flip it, yet, so we, no, we wouldn't flip it just yet. All right. All right, we'll try to that. get our work done on this side. So as I was saying, we're just going to line up. So this has lined to the edge here, and with the line, mm -hmm. this has done the same. And you just want the same thing to be on the top. But it does not seem to be cooperating. It's not moving or what? No. We drilled it in too hard? No, we didn't. We didn't. It's just, um, just a little misaligned. But that's okay because these things happen. So wait, I is, see it why. The, is it that the wood is bent? Um, it actually is a little warped, and that happens from time to time. So when you, uh, case in point, <laughs> so when you go to your hardware store, ask you them for straight wood. Yeah, tell them that you know you need, you absolutely need all your lumber to be straight. Yes, but I a song about that, you know. <laughs> what was was the song, Rockers? I mean, as a man from Sandy Grandy who was, you know, given somebody's sister some lumber, you know. But it was, he was Mr. Ben Wood, so you know. It was. So is, is this song um, one for children? Hmm? Was it what? Is this, is this song um, PG? I hope so. I, I mean, 
you know, as far as that kind of guy where it's always on the, it's always on the borderline, you never really know what's going on. Well, they, they use the, the metaphors so well yeah, yeah, when yeah. it comes to their music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and double entendre, you know? Yeah. That's the beauty of our right. music. So let's unclamp this side All here right. completely. All right, unclamp, sir. All right, Tell we're going to remove this from here because it's not cooperating. Okay, so no centerpiece. We are going to do a centerpiece, we'll do it but it will it'll happen later on. So we're going to line up the bottom piece inside now? Yes, that is what we're going to do. We're going to oh, line wait, up this here. I think this whole part still off, you know? Right, we're going to line that up there. And, you know, you, you do run into challenges sometimes, but that's the thing about doing it yourself. You, you learn from the challenges you meet. So that next time you can do it that well, much better. I mean, we're not in a race here, but I'm, I'm still trying to show the public a nice finished product. Of and, course, uh, we now only if want you perfection, grab, Carrie. If you could grab that clamp there as this well. Clamp. Right, just uh, come out a little bit. What or not, or a good day? Uh, so you could... So that you're away from the pilot holes. Oh, I don't know how this is working on. All right. I'm feeling like, you know, one of them exercise clamps. <laughs> the stress ball or whatever it's called. All right, so you just want to do that there. We will just do a final alignment. And what you're going to do is pretty much repeat this process. And hopefully by the end of the program, I'll continue this offset. And by the end of the program, I should be able to show you all what the finished product looks like, all right? So you just clamp that there, you clamp that there, we're gonna flip the entire thing over again, Rockers. Okay. This flipping, way. flipping, flipping, flipping. There Bam. we go. Right. Now Pilot it's cooperating. Hole. Pilot holes. That's what yeah, we're talking Yeah, the man, you're cooking with gas, man. What do you mean? Oh, uh -huh. you wasn't gonna be safe. I wasn't gonna I be safe. You. I catch you. <laughs> All right, let's try this again, guys. I like the team up here. No, team up is next 99 morning show. <laughs> Good morning to our Big Bad Brother station. Yes, no, so I need to, this, this wood is leaning. I've, I've touched too much force there. A, a touch. I a touch. touched too much force. I don't want the whole thing kill Kitty on me. <laughs> That's a throwback word. There we go. Right. All right. What rockers? You can handle this segment on your own? No, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. This is a very tiny part of this segment here. <laughs> this part is called getting it in properly. And who knew it required so much elbow grease? Jeez and ages. <laughs> no wonder child's so expensive. The only work that goes into it, and this is. <laughs> You know, people always try to try to look down on tradesmen and thing, and boy, Bush not tradesmen is with somebody hardest work out there. I'm telling you. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm going to find out that when it's time to do things like DIY. Or and, 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 how, and, and how many people are actually going to to do a DIY? After home? this, not me. I good after this. <laughs> <laughs> My workout right. for the whole year. All right, Carrie. Right. I think we need to take a quick break. We are because this is taking really long, sir. It is. Because the alignment had to happen properly, right? But fear not, we're going to come back. Harry's going to keep working on this. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we have so much more still on the Now Morning Show. We have music matters coming up. And hopefully we have a shout from Carrie if he could line up the word properly. Well, so what, 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 what he said. Back. All right, back. we'll yeah. be back after the short break. But we need to check in with Carrie and see how the shelf is going. Carrie? It's actually cooperating now. Just have the, a oh, okay. couple more pilot holes, all right? <laughs> You're still drilling pilot holes, Gary. I'm still drilling pilot holes because you were having a conversation. I couldn't drill while you were talking. Rockers. That's fair. That's and I appreciate right. that. Of course, you I know appreciate it, that. it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't fare well. It, it wouldn't, wouldn't over well. well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Uh, yeah, yeah, See what yeah. you did there, my friend. All right. So we are. Um, Carrie's in the process of still building the shelf. Um, yeah, my mom is here. Going over that tomorrow. I feel like I had a check back tomorrow. No, nah, not going. tomorrow. No. We could right. keep going. All right. Have a, All right. Have yeah. roughly two minutes, I'm being told. All right. Well, so, let's tell, tell us. So you finished? Did you do all the other holes already? You got no, everything to no, line up? No, I didn't. Everything is lined up. Right. I just have to drill the pilot holes and we'll be good to go. All right. Let me see if I can help you out a little bit here. All right. So, so what are you doing there now? Let me actually get these two. Let me get these two. Let's make sure you stay a, a good six feet away from me when we're doing this. All right. I'll, I'll take yeah, two yeah. here and. Yeah. I'll get these in, and once these are in, it is smooth sailing from there, my friend. 
and we could call this one a wrap up. Of course, you know, you have to do the fine work and the varnish and all that stuff. How long does that normally take? Like that, that part of the process. You know, well, a piece, work a piece like this would probably take 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And how do you choose which color varnish you're going to use and all that kind well, of stuff? Well, it depends on, you know, what the person wants, what I want. Right. You know? Um, and with that, uh, it depends on, you know, the decor you're going for, the look you're the going look. for. Right, right. So we can put this, this can go against a wall or it can this be can a standalone. This can go against a wall, yeah. That could be a standalone. You can put it on top of a, you can put it on top of a, uh, a, a tabletop, a, a, on top of a desk and you can okay. put books on that. Okay. And you could just continue the whole thing. And we are almost out here. Oh, yes. This man still doing pilot holes. I don't understand. Use the pilot hole, boss. <laughs> <laughs> it makes, trust me, it makes your life a lot easier to drill the pilot to hole. Drill the pilot hole. Okay. Because there have been times where I tried to shortcut it without drilling pilot holes. And what do you think happened? Sufferation. Sufferation. <laughs> when it comes to the drillation. Exactly that. <laughs> All right, cool. So. Yep. Carries put it in some from the final screws there. All right. Let's see how this shelf is looking. Can I unclamp this bad boy here? Yes, please do. Oh, it does do this. Have a button to press. There we go. Found the button, guys. All right, Carrie. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So. You unclamp in there? Yeah, I had that All one right. screw to drive, but hey, again, hey, you, know, you know what happened? I forgot to drill the pilot hole there. Oh, there. no, Kari. Oh, so, wow, though. This is nice. All right, so Let's this take... is what it pretty much looks like. Of course, there's a little fine work to do on it, but you know, you can put some books here. You can put but you know what's nice is that whatever. you can actually put it on the ground, put your books on. You can put shoes below. You can put books here if you want. You can put That's your coffee right. on top here when you're chilling. That's right. You can that put really? it next, next to your sofa. You can put yeah. it somewhere. So, Good again, job trying to solve the problem of storage, being that everybody's doing everything at home and everybody's stuff has to be at home. So this is a storage shelf and with that, we're gonna close off the show.